Good morning and welcome to the show. This is In Touch and I am Beth Christie, your hostess. In Touch is our weekly half hour public affairs show, which means at the end of the program today, if you are a member of a nonprofit group or organization, if you are a company here in the Hudson Valley helping out a nonprofit group or organization, whether it's with development, whether it's trying to um, increase membership, um, increase education about a topic, we'd love to have you on the show. So at the end of the program today, I will tell you a myriad of ways that you can get a hold of me, and we'd love to have you on the show. So let me turn on microphones. Let me first say this is pre-recorded. I did not ask these lovely ladies to get up at this hour on a Sunday morning. I just, I just feel like someone asked me that. You have, you have people come in at quarter after five in the morning. No. No, no, no. Also, I want to let you know that if you are getting ready this morning, uh, maybe this morning you're just kind of just kind of chilling out a little bit. Know that whatever station you're listening to this morning, you can go to the website and you can hear this interview again. So you can hear portions of it. Uh, we're going to be talking about websites and links and phone numbers and all those are there. So we have Honey Minkowitz, who is here. She is back. She is the Bullying Prevention Coordinator at the Mediation Center of Dutchess County. So, honey, thank you very much for being willing to come back. Most definitely. Thank (laughs) you for inviting us to come back. Absolutely. And it was my pleasure to have met this morning, this afternoon, uh, Valerie Belton, who is a board member of the Mediation Center of Dutchess County and also the co-chair of the 6th Annual Anti-Bullying Walkathon. Valerie, very nice to meet you and welcome. And thank you, Beth, for having us. It's nice that you guys are here. Uh, As honey and I were talking... um, and when I came up front and I'm like, you've been on this show, but it has been a while. It has been. And I remember in the past interviews, I remember, I always say I learned something when I do every show. And I don't think that there was any more true statement made than, uh, than the shows with the Mediation Center of Dutchess oh. County. Well, of the you. work that's done there, what it can do, yes. how it can help. Um, and in this day and age of... of um, such uh, for lack of a better word violent rhetoric it feels like um not listening to another side um it just it just seems so much like the mediation center i just look at it as like an oasis that could help an awful lot so honey i i I want for folks that may have heard about the mediation center but are not sure what they do are intrigued now by what they do kind of bring us up to speed sure as to Um, what you guys really do yes (laughs) Yes. we do a lot (laughs) um we've actually been around for quite some time since 1983 Mm -hmm. uh but we have uh lovingly been called dutchess county's best kept secret we don't want to be a secret um we do such wonderful work if anyone is in conflict, uh, it doesn't matter if it's in court or out of court, um, neighbor disputes, come to the mediation center. We can help you. Um, that's what we do. We, we turn conflict into conversation. Um, we have highly trained mediators. Uh, almost all of our mediators are volunteers. Um, they go through an extensive training process in order to be fantastic mediators that they are. Mm-hmm. We are in every sing- single small claims court across Dutchess County. I oh, believe wow. that there's 16 small claims courts that we regularly sit in every week. Wow. Yes. Um, and we help people who are in conflict. Um Uh, try to talk about their issues and have a better conversation about the issues that are impacting them. So that's just a small portion of the work that we do. Um, We are also in family court. We help with um, custody and visitation. Um, We help with, um, we've got a divorce mediation program. We have a Lemon Law mediation program. We have a special education mediation program. Mm. Um, Basically, if there's any type of conflict at all, we can help. In addition to that, we, pro- we, we provide conflict uh, education. So we can go out to schools or to community groups and we can provide workshops on communication, on conflict resolution. We can help groups with team building. We can help groups um, with organizational issues, um, agencies, businesses, other nonprofits. We can help with um, any type of uh, conflict issue or anything that needs a um, more involved conversation. So we're, we're there to help. Yeah, because nothing can happen until there's a conversation. Oh, absolutely. Exactly. You're not moving anywhere. I'm. You're. You're. You're just going to stay. And it always. The image in my head is the hole just gets deeper. Right. Yes. Like you're not getting out of it. So I love that. And and I have to. You saw my face when it's like wow in small claims court. Mm-hmm. I I th- I think I remember you saying you'd been in family court, but I wasn't aware of that because, mm-hmm. you know. 
look, we're all human beings. This is I'm not faulting anyone, but sometimes trees and fences and and hedges neighbors. and exactly. neighbors can get a little yes. um testy. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Land- Maybe that's the word. Yeah. Landlord so, tenant issues. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Never thought about that. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, there is that too. Okay. <laughs> So I, I love that. I love the fact that you said you don't want to be the secret and you shouldn't because look at the help. Look at the de-stressing that mm-hmm. you can do for folks. Mm-hmm. Enable them to move forward. Right. To have some resolution. You know. And uh, sometimes people just need neutrality. They just need somebody that's neutral to help them to yes. make a better decision. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I know myself and sometimes in conversations with certain people, you kind of you go into a role you don't mean to, but mm-hmm. you realize that you your emotional role is the one that you may always go into. And right. if you always go into it, good chances are you're not seeing the other person and everybody mm-hmm. assumed mm-hmm. and you do the same dance steps. And if you do the same dance steps, you're not you're really you're just moving around in a circle. You're not going anywhere. So right. you are right. Someone neutral, someone neutral, not emotionally invested, can yes. really listen to everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And our mediators are highly trained. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, And we're always recruiting volunteers. So if any of the listeners are interested, please get in contact with us. We can uh, definitely use your help. I also like the fact that you guys are in family court Mm -hmm. um, to help um, with so many issues and Mm -hmm. and not just divorce. I mean, there are times when grandparents are now Mm -hmm. involved in caring for children for whatever reason. If a child has been removed from the care, that's a whole nother set yeah. of potential conflicts and what that can do. So having someone there to not just help with the legal process, which can be daunting, mm-hmm. but also help in the communication within the family, that's very that's very powerful. And we have yeah. such a great relationship with um, a lot of the surrogate court, court judges, and they will refer uh-huh. cases over to us mm-hmm. so that we can help to mediate, you know, versus them making that decision. You know, gotcha. we, we will meet with those parties and we will help them to try to come to some kind of uh, resolution. And it really, this is going to sound so stupid and I feel so elementary in saying it, but it makes everybody just healthier mm-hmm. in living your life. Because I I think we all know someone who they they have they may have a legitimate reason for why they're upset, but then it just keeps eating away at them and then it may become bigger than what it needs to be right. and it's costing them more emotionally spiritually it's costing them yes. and they've got to lay it down right there are time but sometimes you don't know how to start to lay it down <laughs> right. and you need someone to be like let me help you <laughs> and and sometimes the issue that brings them to court is not really the issue that's mm-hmm. really um, underneath it so we, right. we want to try uh, to help people mm-hmm. talk about those issues that are really important to them, not, not just the surface things, but what's underneath, what's really eating away at, at causing this conflict and this communication, um, wow. this, this dispute. So we firmly believe that uh, conflict is a crisis in human interaction. It's, it, there's something else going on, not just the surface dispute, but there's right. something else. And we believe that people should have an opportunity to talk about that, and we're here to help. And that's available to anyone. Mm-hmm. Yes. So Absolutely. I know we're going to be saying the phone number later, but I feel like right now I really want, if someone's sure. listening and they're going, that's me, yeah. or that's someone I know, how can they get a hold of you? What's the best way to, to, to get a hold You can call us at 845-471-7213. Again, 845-471-7213. Wow. I'm just already, see, every show, (laughs) I'm telling you, every show, it does this. So let's go to, I I know we're talking about the walkathon. We're talking about Bullying Honey is here, Mm -hmm. uh, the Bullying Prevention Coordinator, I think, and I'm my. This is where my memory may not be serving me well, but I think the last time I show, I remember when this program was developed. Yes, I feel like I remember when it was that it was so much a part of the conversation that it it just was a natural fit to come in the mediation center. Definitely, uh, it actually started before I was there. Okay. Um, Uh, This program developed in response to the Dignity for All Students Act being implemented in 2012, and um, our 
previous executive director, Jody Miller, had a fantastic sense of noticing that there were more calls coming in around bullying and people not knowing what to do. Um, people losing choice and voice in the process and really feeling confused about what to do next um, because bullying is so uh, impactful and overpowering. Mm -hmm. And so Jody um, determined that we should begin an initiative, an anti-bullying initiative. And we began um, in 2012 with our first walkathon. Mm -hmm. So this year is our sixth annual. Uh, in addition to that, we also um, started doing workshops and trainings for the community. Um, we also have an anti-bullying youth summit that happens in October. Mm -hmm. October is Bullying Prevention Month, so that's a pretty big month for us. Yeah. And our um, the, the Cadillac of programs that we offer for schools and community youth serving agencies is the Alveus Bullying Prevention Program. Uh, I am a certified trainer, and I go out to schools and youth-serving community agencies, and I train them in implementing a systems change model. Um, we look at how their agencies interact. We looked at uh, their policies and procedures. We look at um, how teachers um, talk to students or mm. uh, the volunteers that are with the youth-serving agency, and I train them on implementing a systems change model to really not just prevent future incidents of bullying, but also curb current incidents and to develop relationships um, among, not just among students, but between students and the adults that are in the agency. Wow. So we do a lot of wow. really great work. <laughs> she wow. says that in such one. So we do, wow. a lot, we do a lot of work, she says, so quietly and calmly. I mean, mom I'm going, wow. But our program touches so many people. It's not mm -hmm. just the person that's being bullied. It's yeah. not the person that is the person that is the bully. Mm -hmm. um, it's also the administration. Mm -hmm. It's also the teachers. It's also, you know, the, uh, learning how to handle um, those situations when you see those happening. Um, and the walkathon um, was created as a good way to engage the community to support, um, you know, the, the, the anti-bullying program. Um, that we had. It's also one of our largest fundraisers as well, mm -hmm. you know, for that program. Yes, because it would invite a conversation. It does invite yes. a conversation. If you're saying that you're going to go and you're going to walk mm -hmm. at an anti-bullying walk, mm -hmm. you might, without even knowing it, give someone an opportunity to talk about an experience that maybe they had. Exactly. Yes. Or like, oh, you know what, hang on, there's something going on, I think, in school. I wonder if that you, and you don't know. It can be as simple and subtle as that. Mm -hmm. It we, really is. And it's, it, we've even had, um, Honey did a referral um, of a doctor um, that uh, uh, when we talked to her about sponsorship for the walkathon, she brought up the fact that her and her brother had been bullied oh. as children. And this is why she wanted to um, wow. be part of right. um, this, this walkathon. Wow. We, we know wow. research shows us that mm -hmm. approximately one-third of all students in school have been bullied, mm -hmm. which also means that uh, there's a smaller percentage that actually are responsible for bullying, but approximately 85% of all students in schools are bystanders, which means that they see bullying happen, they know that it's going on, um. they're impacted by it. Um, so even though approximately a third of students are are recipients of bullying behavior at some point in time, and there's a smaller portion, probably about 12 or 15 percent that are responsible for bullying, there's a much larger percentage of students who are bystanders. And so we also um, want to make sure that people who see it happening or know that it's happening have ways and channels um, for for telling other people um, and making sure that that doesn't give a secondary impact on them. See, that's the thing. I would think mm -hmm. that, you know, you would be nervous. You would be scared. Mm -hmm. You know, you see it going on. You don't want to be the next bullying victim and then you're right. kind of torn because you don't want to be silent you don't want to not do anything but then you don't know what to do and sometimes you don't know if what you do is about to escalate it and make it worse mm -hmm. or what can you do those are tools that a, a lot of us don't have right and that a lot of us need <laughs> exactly but one person speaking out yes could make a difference yeah one person mm -hmm. you know saying stop mm -hmm. you know right could stop it for that person yeah and could save a life because right. a lot of children that are being bullied um they could commit they end up committing suicide some yeah. of them so um it just it it could save a life 
Mm-hmm. Valerie, let me ask you something. Mm-hmm. You're a board member. What brought you to be a board member at the Mediation Center? Because this is where I wish people could see the look on faces when they talk mm-hmm. and the passion that you have for it. So what brought you to the Mediation Center? The anti-bully walk-a-thon. Jody okay. um, approached me a couple of years ago about sponsoring um, because of my job. And mm-hmm. I was, uh, so we became a sponsor. And then uh, once I started getting involved and I did the walkathon the first time and I saw the impact, I saw how engaged everybody was um, and, uh, you know, d- just the passion that Jody had mm-hmm. for the uh, mediation center, it drew me in. And then uh, she asked me to become a board member. And, uh, you know, I, I went through the channels and uh, been there ever since. And uh, <laughs> this is my, my second uh, co chair is uh, for the walkathon. So uh, I always like to yes, ask that, especially yes, when I can see yes, the look in someone eyes, yes. someone's eyes when they're talking. You know, and it, so that's my passion. And I love children as well. Mm-hmm. You know, so th- this is my this is a passion for me. Now. Can I ask you what your job is? My job. I'm a banker. I work for Ulster Savings Bank. Thank you. I needed to <laughs> get that name out there because yes. you guys have been. Ulster sponsors, Savings Bank, and, and they to are know that. a sponsor. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's what we needed to get out. That's yes. what I wanted to make sure. I yes. love that. You know, so many times on this show, we talk about the fact that, um, you know, pay attention to companies, organizations mm-hmm. that sponsor local events, that sponsor events that really touch your heart. Mm-hmm. Because to me, those are the organizations that I look to first yes. to do business. Mm-hmm. You need something, that's where you go. Anytime I've ever emceed an event, I always point out in the program or brochure who sponsored the event. These are people that are, and companies that are putting their money right back into the Hudson Valley. Exactly. So I'll get off my little soapbox on that. But I I think that's very, very important as opposed to, you know, having money go someplace else. And while it may do good there, we need some good to come back and stay here. So exactly. I love that. And also Savings is a local, yes. you know, it's a local bank and we do support um, local. Mm-hmm. Um, but we do have some wonderful sponsors, especially yep. for the uh, walkathon that we are having this year. Um, along with Ulster Savings Bank, um, the Hudson Valley Federal Credit Union mm-hmm. is one of our sponsors. Health Quest is one of our sponsors. Wayne Wright Financial Solutions. Yeah. Um, is mm-hmm. one of our sponsors, and Cigna Cobroth um, Orthopedic okay. is um as, is a sponsor for us this year, um, along with several others. But um, you know, we just appreciate all the support that they're giving us this year. If folks wanted to go to get the entire list of sponsors, what is the website? Where could they go so they could take a look at sure. that? They can come to our website, which is www.duchessmediation.org. And I will have that, as I said at the beginning of the program, if you're listening this morning, mm-hmm. please know that whatever station you're on, you can go to that website and you'll be able to get that because I'll have a link to that. And also, if you go to the website, we do, we have online giving set up. That was um, my next question. So <laughs> there you go. If you don't, um, if you don't want to do um, a full sponsorship package, um, you can do a personal sponsorship. So you oh, can nice. do online giving um, through, with your debit card or your credit card. Or if you're like me, my 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 knees are not my friends. My mobility <laughs> has been impacted. Exactly. I can't be the only one that has that. Like a walkathon for me yes. right now, <laughs> not really good. But hitting a button exactly. that says donate, totally I'm there. Exactly. <laughs> I can totally do that. So if anyone else is in that situation, <laughs> please know, just like me, you can go to the website, click a little button, and there you go, and you've got it, and you can donate. And you can just come out and um, walk and, and be and there and support on right. April 22nd. Yeah, so, and, uh, yeah, let's let's do the details. Let's yeah. say the who, what, when, where, why of what people need to know about the walkathon. Sure. Okay. Sure. It uh, Our walkathon will be on Saturday, April 22nd. Um, we prefer pre-registration, so if you go to our website, duchessmediation.org, you can sign up online to start a team um, or to walk as an individual. And there's also uh, online fundraising, and it's a peer-to-peer network, so you can share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it on Instagram. Um, it's completely social media um, savvy. So share with your friends, get them to support you. Um, and our walk, uh, reg- on-site registration begins at 8.30 a.m. on Saturday the 22nd. The walk will begin promptly at 9 a.m. And we just walk across the um, walkway over the Hudson. And we'll have some tables, some giveaways, and uh, some exciting giveaways. But I'm not going to give away what the giveaways are until <laughs> you get there. <laughs> and um, 
uh, we hope that you come join us. Yes. So it's a, it would also be a nice opportunity for people to get information if someone yes. is not sure and maybe they're a little timid. This would be a nice, very easy and gentle way to get information that Definitely. could help you or exactly. someone you Exactly. Know. No pressure. Definitely. Just to get information about the Mediation Center. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. And yes. find out how that could work for right. you. How it can right. work for you. Now, let me ask you guys this question. I know that you said with the bullying program, it's in schools. Um, if there's organizations, if there's someone who's listening who, who feel like, you know what, I, I feel like my organization could benefit. How do they set that up? Is there sure. a procedure? What do they need to do for Just that? Just call me. Okay. <laughs> very um, simple. Very, very how simple. How easy yes. is that? <laughs> uh, they can either call me, uh, mm-hmm. again, 845-471-7213. Or they can email me at antibullying at duchessmediation.org. Um, and all of that information is on our website as well, which is duchessmediation.org. But yeah, um, we actually started doing workplace bullying workshops as well. That was one of my questions. Bullying impacts across the lifespan. Mm-hmm. And bullying is, it, bullying is a little bit more than just a conflict. Bullying is abuse. It's peer victimization. And uh, we see we can see bullying happen in workplaces with adults as well. Mm -hmm. So we're here to help across the age span. Um, So if there's a workshop or if there's a case referral, um, if people are having issues, please give me a call. We can definitely help. I like that. And, and as I said, you know, we're, we're all aware of, of the current climate in the United States and, and, and um, the statements and, you know, we, we can't turn on each other. You know, right. that's the Absolutely. one thing as, you know, people, you cannot turn on each other. You mm-hmm. can disagree on how mm-hmm. to get to a location. Right. right. But I feel like when it starts to turn and it becomes personal and it's nasty, then mm-hmm. again, you're not you're not going to accomplish anything. You're not going anywhere. And you're really, I think, just hurting exactly where you live. And that's exactly. why my one question was, is there a workplace? Are there workshops mm-hmm. for adults? Because I mm-hmm. I do think sometimes people are like, well, I'm an adult. I got all the answers. I'm good to go. That's for kids. And that's Mm -hmm. not true. It's Mm -hmm. not. Um, And there's no shame in in asking for help. We're we're here Mm -hmm. to help. We can provide workshops. Um, And of course, we we do have mediation services. We're actually starting a new process that's actually a little bit more friendlier for uh, dealing with bullying situations. Um, We're starting a restorative justice initiative. And that's a it's it's Not quite the same as mediation, but um, it's a helpful process. So if there is uh, like a supervisor, supervisee issue within a workplace Mm -hmm. or if there are um, if there is a workplace bullying situation that's peer to peer, um, we'd most likely use a restorative process. And that would be, um, you know, again, people sitting down and having that conversation and talking about what's going on. Um, But it's a little bit more um, appropriate for these types of situations that with bullying it is a it is it is abuse um it's pure victimization and so we kind of want to balance out that power dynamic a little Mm. bit and this type of process can help with that it's you know you said earlier in the show you know all of your mediation volunteers are well trained Mm -hmm. and they would they would need to be and i would and and again here comes a potentially stupid question raise my hand (laughs) let me know (laughs) Um, ongoing training has yes. got to be paramount. Yes, yes. Uh, mm-hmm. we provide monthly in services mm-hmm. for our mediator roster. Mm-hmm. So every month we're talking about something different. Uh, actually, this month in April we're talking about bullying prevention right before uh, the walkathon. Mm-hmm. So every month we do something. Um, we either have a, a judge come in and speak, or we provide additional training for our mediators. Nice. Um, but there's always something going on. Yes. You'd, you'd have to, because mm-hmm. just looking about the fact that you're looking at a new process, yes. not only is it training, but it's also looking at what's going on in society. Exactly. What is happening in mm-hmm. our communities, mm-hmm. in our schools, mm-hmm. in our workplaces, mm-hmm. and how can you and the Mediation Center help? Exactly. And we, you, and we, we need wanna, you guys to do that. We do. <laughs> and we want to we wanna teach people, you know, to have zero tolerance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Zero tolerance for bullying. You know, mm-hmm. whether it be in the schools, whether it be workplace, whether it be, you know, walking down the street, mm-hmm. you know, zero tolerance yes. for it. Absolutely. It is. Absolutely. It is abuse. It is abuse. It is abuse. Mm-hmm. I've, you know, there have been friends of mine whose children that has happened to and your heart just breaks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, our grandson is about to enter kindergarten. And I, and I have to admit, there's a part of me that is 
is a little nervous. Yeah. And there's also part of me going, nobody better mess with him. Okay. Just, just letting you know, which yeah. is not the best response. You know, I, I, I'm not, I, I don't mean that to say that I am like this, like person <laughs> I'm not, but when you have a little person, you know, that you have love with all of your heart and, and you put them out there, you're like, Beth, I'm grandma too, and You're I feel like, the okay. exact same way. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. and you do. Yeah, and it's yeah. a valid concern. It is. Research shows that the highest rates of bullying are in elementary school. So. Yeah, so at, at the younger, at the younger, yeah. at the younger yeah. age. Yeah. You know, I was never, I was never able to have children. It's, it's my, and my stepdaughter, and, I, and so this is my first time mm-hmm. of seeing little people go off to school. And I'm like, there's just emotions. I mean, yeah. I'll sit at my desk and people are like, Beth is sobbing today. So let everybody just leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's everybody move. Yes. It's not quite that bad. But that is the kind of thing that I think about. And we've yes. talked about that, that, you know, it's interesting that you say that bullying can start that young because yeah. some people mm-hmm. don't think that it can. And, and you you can kind of s- see that. Mm-hmm. Right. So giving children tools in schools and parents mm-hmm. exactly. is very, very powerful. Early on. Yes. yes. So that it doesn't, it's not a situation mm-hmm. that you're talking about that has escalated later mm-hmm. on. Exactly. Right. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right. I. My goodness, we have three minutes left. I told sure. you this is what happens. You get talking and that's it. So before I ask for final thoughts, let's just go over the, the basics of the walkathon again. It's coming up on Saturday, April 22nd. Correct. Walkway over the Hudson. Correct. Yes. Okay. And they can pre-registration, pre-registration is preferred and Correct. they can go to uh, duchessmediation.org. Excellent. Yes. Okay, good. I'm trying to go over my notes. Um, You're doing great. And there's also what I love online fundraising. Yes. yes. So even if you are, if you can be there, that's great, but you can still do that. You can still share to your Facebook and share with your friends and, exactly. and get money. So I think that's great. I love the fact that you guys have it set up. So it's very easy yes. with social media to mm-hmm. get out. So that's important. And again, this morning, go to whoever, whatever station's website you're listening to. You'll have all of that. Um, honey, closing comments, final thoughts you'd sure. like to leave with folks today. Yeah. Um, I think at the beginning of the show, Valerie said something really important and it really just takes one person to make a difference. Mm-hmm. You know, um, we know that it takes just one person to reach out to someone who's being targeted, uh, to either be a friend or to say something yeah. to someone, and that can really make a huge difference in a person's life. You never really know how you're going to touch someone and impact their life, and we want people to feel brave enough and courageous enough to make a difference. Mm-hmm. That's really the work that we do at the Mediation Center. It's about transformation. We, yeah. we, want, we want that transformation to happen. Mm-hmm. Nicely put. Valerie, closing comments. Um, I am just, I'm still very excited about, uh, you know, being the co-chair, um, being part of this wonderful, wonderful organization. Um, and I'm hoping that um, the Walkathon will be able to give as much knowledge as we can mm-hmm. to as many people um, and to teach them and show them that um, th- bullying and the pressures that come with it. And that there has to be zero tolerance um, in order for everybody to get along. Right. And we just need to get along. Right. That's it. I agree. Mm-hmm. Valerie, honey, thank you guys very, very thank much you. for being willing to put yourselves behind the mic. <laughs> hopefully, thank you for having Hopefully us. you'll come back. Definitely. I didn't scare you off too badly. <laughs> all right. That's good. Thanks, guys. Thank and you. You're more than welcome. And thanks to all of you for joining us this morning. If you have any questions about anything you heard on the show today, Please know that whatever station you're listening to, go to their website. There is um, a video of this interview and you can fast forward, rewind, get to the exact point that you want. Also within and around that video is an article where we will have links. If you'd like to be on the show to talk about what is important to you here in the Hudson Valley, here's how you can do that. My phone number 845-471-1500. My extension is 159. Email is beth.christy, C-H-R-I-S-T-Y, at townsquaremedia.com. Uh, we're on Facebook, I am on Instagram, and I am on Twitter, and I'm on Pinterest, and I'm on way too many things, so you can find me. And I hope that you do, because we'd love to have you on the show and be part of the conversation that so that together we make the Hudson Valley the community in which we all want to live. Take care of yourself and those you love, and we'll see you right here next week.